So both of those teams now are on the, the upswing again having rebuilt themselves in very different and interconnected ways. Um, I just wanted to see if you could give me a little bit of insight on your opinion on where both teams are going by the end of this season and we'll look one season into the future. So Celtics and Nets, what, what are your expectations for this season and then next season? Well, I'm still very close to the Celtic organization. Um, having spoken with, you know, Brad Stevens over the last couple of weeks and, you know, over the last couple of years, actually. Um, and, you know, understanding his vision and, and what he wants to see done. And then also my relationship with Jason Tatum. Damon Stoudemire is a good friend of mine who's on their bench. He's one of my mentors. Um, but, you know, when they have two young stars, as they do, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, I mean, how can you not build around something as, as valuable as those two? And I think they've done a great job with kind of managing that roster and trying to fit and shape and mold pieces around that group. And I believe the sky's the limit. I mean, they're playing as well as any team is in the league going into the all-star break. Um, everybody has seemed to buy into their roles. And, you know, they're they're playing well on, on the defensive end of the floor, which was the end of the floor that was kind of, you know, iffy. And so I can see them making a, a deep run in the postseason. I do think they're a key part, and we'll talk about that later away, from, from really solidifying that run. But there's okay. nothing in me that doesn't say Boston can, you know, end up in the Eastern Finals and beyond. I'm um, talking about the Brooklyn Nets. You know, obviously you've seen what they did. They've been in flux the entire season. And it's hard to be a championship contending team when you have that much um, – inconsistency with your roster, you know, throughout the season, those guys hadn't been healthy. Obviously Kyrie's situation, him not being able to play in only 50% of the games that, that just hurts you uh, chemistry wise. So, you know, if healthy and all guys are there and you added Ben Simmons, they're, they're a good playoff team. They have the experience, they have the firepower. I just think it's a chemistry issue and don't know what happens, but Hey, if they're healthy and they're all available, that's a dangerous team and one to look out for. 